Hello my dear friends, my name is Sanne and welcome back to another beauty video. Today I have another colorful tutorial for you. We're doing a fun pastel colorful vibrant look. This is inspired by a makeup look I did a few years ago. We're just gonna recreate it but make it a tiny bit more my style now and how I use makeup now. Just a bit more colorful, a bit more fun, a bit just a, just a tiny bit more of everything. So this is what I'm gonna create for you. So let's quickly get into this tutorial. Okay, we're just gonna speed run through the base makeup because uh, it's not gonna be that interesting and I want to get it over it, but I do want to show you what I'm using. So I'm first gonna apply the Essence Fix and Last Jelly Primer just to create a nice base to work with. And then I'm gonna do something new. I'm gonna try something out. I'm gonna mix a few things. So I'm gonna grab my Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup and I'm gonna put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go in with the Kruidvat Beyond the Galaxy Oil Blend Glow Primer, which is a primer, it's oil and you can mix it with your base. I have no idea if my um, foundation is a water-based or oil-based foundation, so this could go horribly wrong, but I wanna try and blend in that primer because it's supposed to give like a nice subtle glow but maybe I should have put in more also that just soaked up everything that was on my hand so um, <laughs> I have to do that again okay I think just going well like the combining the foundation with the primer I think I'm not seeing any issues yet don't see any separation but we'll see just been wanting to try that for once, just to see if my skin will actually turn nice and glowy. Uh, right now it's looking glowy, but I don't know how much it will dry down. So we'll see in a few minutes. So then I'm gonna go in with my trusty e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Just covering up all those spots. Just blend that in. Try and create a lovely flawless base. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple though. Okay, I feel like we're looking nice and glowy and healthy and covered up, so. I'm just gonna go into my Essence Banana Loose Powder and a small brush and I'm gonna set my under eyes with that. So I kinda wanna try and not really set the other parts of my face because I feel like the foundation will just settle and then it will just look nice and glowy with the primer because I feel like if I'm gonna use this powder, I'm gonna mattify everything. And then that primer that we just spent time on won't really have an effect. So I'm just gonna go among some places that I feel like need a tiny bit of setting and we'll just use some of the powder on there, but not really any of the other places. Okay, I feel like that's good. Now we're still looking nice and glowy and fresh. So then let's go in with a nice and glowy bronzer just to get some color back into my face. So let's bronze that up. And I'm using the Essence Kissed by the Light Illuminating Powder in the shade two, Sun Kissed. Then let's quickly fill in my brows with the Essence Brow Powder set. And then set the hairs in place with the Essence Brow Like a Boss Ink Brow Gel. Add some color to the hairs. Create some nice and fluffy brows. And then let's add some a blush to finish up the base. So I'm going to Essence the Blush in the shade 90 Bedazzling. Which is a really nice soft rosy tone that is perfect for everyday looks for me. I'm just keeping it high up on the cheekbones, that's where I like it. And then some on the nose, of course. So now our base is done, so we can get onto the eyes. So first I'm gonna prime my eyes using the Makeup Academy eyeshadow primer. Just making sure we have a lovely base to work with. Yay! So now we can get started on the fun part of the makeup look, which is the eyes. And we're gonna be recreating one of my old looks. It's from March 2020. So this was, I think this was literally like two days before we went into the pandemic. Anyway, it's this pastel makeup look, which I absolutely loved back then, but I didn't really have many pastel eyeshadows. 
I kind of just picked a few from a few different palettes that I had back then and created this. But now I have some beautiful, absolutely beautiful pastel shades in some of my favorite palettes. I can like recreate this, but make it better, I guess. So that's what I want to do. I want to recreate this look and do like a fun pastel look because I absolutely love pastels. And we're going into spring again. Spring is pastel season. Um, and it's just gonna make me extremely happy to wear, wear this right now. So we're gonna recreate this. I'm gonna keep it right next to me. So I'm first gonna grab an angled liner brush and I'm going into the ColourPop Fade Into You palette. And then I'm going into the shade Take It Easel, which is this lovely blue pastel shade. And I'm gonna start by mapping out an eyeliner moment with this blue eyeshadow. This shadow already is a lot more pastel than the one I used in the picture, so like might already be an upgrade. I'm also gonna go a tiny bit underneath, just the teensiest bit. Okay so now that we have that liner going on we're gonna go into a few different shades. So first of all I'm gonna dip into Treasure which is a pastel orange and I'm gonna put that in that outer crease. Just the teensiest bit, just, just, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Just kind of as a transition shade. And we also want to put that a tiny bit over here. And we're basically just creating like, you know, a watercolor vibe with all the different colors, eye eyeshadow everywhere. Look at how cute this orange is. I never use it. And then I'm going into Lovecraft, which is a pink. And we're gonna put that right next to it, but more on top of the lid. I'm gonna blend those a bit, but also on the lower lash line. Kind of blend between the orange and the blue. We're also gonna be just applying these shades and then of course going back in later to like redo a few, add some more of one or the other. So we're keeping it a bit soft and simple for now just so we can work with it later. And then I want to go into a pastel purple, so for that I'm grabbing the Root Cosmetics City of Dreamy Lights palette and going into the shade Game Over. And we're just applying... And we're just applying that to the center of the lid. Of course, blending that again. And I really want to get that right on the lid. Almost cover that entire lid with it. And then also going underneath in between that blue and that pink that we just applied. And now I wanna place the outside colors. So I am going back into that blue. Oh my God, I ruined my palette. Oh no, oh God. I dipped my entire fingernail in it. Of course. Of course that happens to me. It's all over the other shades as well. Oh God. Just gonna press some of that back in there. It's not my favorite shade anyway, so that's good at least. But, oh, that was too bad. I literally dipped my entire pinky nail in it. Now I have a dip. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Maybe I can hit pen on it. <laughs> anyway, I was going back into that blue. And I'm gonna be blending that right here in the inner corner of the crease, of the lid, whatever you wanna call it. I want to move quite a bit outwards. And now I'm gonna go into yellow. I will first go in with the actual pastel because then I can always go on top with a deeper shade. So I'm going into the Root Cosmetics palette, into the shade Checkpoint. I'm gonna apply that like along this outer edge over here. Oh God, it's really, it has a lot of fallout. And kind of blend it into that orange that we had. I think I'm gonna go in with a different one because this one is not really giving me what I need. So then I'm going into the shade Big Smile from the ColourPop palette. That one is a lot brighter. Almost too bright. I don't really have an in-between. And this one is one of those glittery shades, so that is a bit too bad, but you know, whatever. I'm just gonna blend that over here. Blend out quite a bit. And then we're gonna go back into some of the other shades, like the orange one, just to make sure we have that lovely blend going on over here in this outer portion. Going in with the pink. We just want to create the best blend we possibly can. That's what I'm going for. And I'm also going to apply that same shade in the inner corner. I think I might layer the two shades a bit. So I'm also going into checkpoint. I'll just kind of go back and forth with the different shades just until I have 
exactly what I want. Okay, this is giving like clown vibes in the absolute best way possible. I am leaving for it. And I want to add some sparkle. And I think I'm gonna add some sparkle on the lid from the Colourpop Star Wars Jelly Much Eyeshadow in the shade Astro Mac, I guess. Because it looks really boring, like in here, but it's really cool and multi chromey. Like it shifts from blue to purple and it's basically just sparkle and I really like it actually. It is a tiny bit dried out, so we're just gonna work with it, adding that across the lid. Blending it out a tiny bit so we don't cover up all of the purple. But I feel like that is a pretty cool eyeshadow. And then I want to add some more city sparkle, so I am going into the shade Fancy by Chaos Dirt. Which is a really cute pastel yellow base with a pink shimmer to it. So I want to add that in the inner corner. Beautiful. And I like the shiftiness of the Jelly Mud shadow, but I feel like it's not really sparkly at all. So I'm also going to add a tiny bit of the shade Whimsy by Chaos Dirt on top, because that is just a beautiful sparkly purple shimmer. Absolutely love it. And I think that's going to be it eyeshadow-wise, so we're just going to add a few more things. So now that we have our eyeshadow ready, I'm going in with a few eye pencils, just to make my waterline match my eyeshadow. So first I'm going in with a lovely light blue, which is by Maxim Moore in the shade Rock the Boat. I'm applying that in that outer corner of my waterline. And I'm taking a purple, which is also by Maxim Moore in the shade Enchanted, just for a tiny in-between moment. And then I'm going in with a yellow, also by Maxim Moore, and this is the shade Bright Sunlight. And I'm applying that in the inner corner of the waterline. Try to blend everything a tiny bit. And in the previous version of this look, I actually had a small flower-shaped diamond, flower-shaped diamond rhinestone in my inner corner. So I am gonna apply one of those because they are so adorable. So let's just go ahead and stick on some rhinestones, shall we? Just gonna do one in the inner corner. These are just so cute. So adorable. Look at that tiny little flower. I also want to do some... No, I'm gonna go for up here, but I'm gonna try on this side first. I'm gonna do three next to each other. I'm gonna do a flower first. And then I'm gonna do two small rhinestones next to it. Like that. Oh, that's cute. Let's yes, I like that. Okay, let's apply some highlighter. I'm going in with the Kruidvat Lighten Up Diamond Glow Highlighter in the shade, what is this shade? 10 Champagne Pelican. It's a bit more of a subtle highlight. I feel like a bit on the nose, of course. And just because I want some shine as well, I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of that Jelly Much eyeshadow on the cheek as well, because it has not really a cast, I believe. So makes for a pretty good highlighter, actually. And then, of course, we're gonna apply some mascara. This is the one I always use, the Essence Another Volume Mascara, just better. This is my favorite mascara that's currently in my collection. I have a few more, but I just don't like the other ones, so I think I'm decluttering them. Because why would you need four mascaras if three of them you don't like at all? <laughs> okay, I have also immediately applied some lashes. These are the Kiss My Lash Be Better lashes in the style No Filters. I wanted something that's a tiny bit more subtle because these colors are so nice and subtle. I absolutely love what we've got going on over here. I feel like it's a more vibrant version of what I did three years ago. It still looks very pastel and cute, but it's definitely like more colorful and more vibrant and I absolutely love it. So now all that is left are lips, of course, and I wanna keep it a tiny bit subtle because, you know, we've got so much color going on over here. So I'm just gonna line my lips. This is a Miki eye pencil that I always use as a lip liner. So I can't tell you a color either because it's just number five from a set and they don't sell it anymore. I don't even think the brand exists anymore even. And then I'm gonna go in with a lipstick by Essence. This is the Semi Matte Lipstick in the shade Lovely. Also, don't think they sell this anymore because I got it on sale. I think it exited the collection and then I got it. It's just a soft 
pinky tone. Just gonna go back in with the lip pencil, blend those edges a tiny bit more. Just so the entire lip look will look a little bit more neutral instead of pink. I think I would have rather had a nude lip, but this is really not too bad. I think it still looks cute, so we're just gonna keep it. Let me just fix my hair for you and get rid of my bathrobe, just so I look a bit more presentable, you know? Okay, I think we're ready. So this is the finished pastel look. And like I said, I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it looks just like a cute, vibrant version of what we did a few years ago. It's just really just an upgraded look, you know? But I love all the different colors. It's giving like clown vibes in a good way. It's just really cute. And because they're pastels, you can definitely wear this wherever you want. So like it still looks really subtle because they're pastels, but it also looks really vibrant and colorful and I love that mix. I think it's really cute. That highlighter is just popping. That's that jelly mud shadow. I think it's really nice as a highlighter actually. So that is gonna be it for me today. We have a lovely pastel makeup look going on. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog, my socials, my gaming channel and everything else you need to know about me is all linked down below so you can check it out as well. And that's gonna be it for me today. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!